Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. D's Tech News and Reviews. Today I'm doing the second part of the DJI Mavic review. If you didn't catch the first one, make sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. So let's jump right to it. First of all, I wanted to show you guys more or less what kind of speed you can expect from the DJI Mavic. DJI claims that the Mavic has a top speed of 40 miles an hour. So I wanted to see when and how fast it achieves that. First off, You'll see that in normal mode, it hit a top speed of 25.6 miles per hour right before it came to a stop. Now, that day was a bit windy, so it might go a little bit faster under better circumstances. Next up, I tried sport mode, going in the same direction, and let me tell you, this thing is fast. It hit 52.9 miles per hour, which is way above what DJI claimed it would do. So then I asked myself, how well would it do going the opposite way? Yup, a whopping 63.4 miles per hour. More than 50% faster than what DJI claimed it would go. It's just amazing. Next up, I wanted to go over some of the intelligent flight modes. And first, we have gesture mode, in which you wave your arms to get the attention from the Mavic, and then, with a simple gesture in front of your face, it starts a timer to take a photo. Next you have Active Track, in which you select your subject using the phone's touchscreen, and then, if you're in Trace, you can set the Mavic to fly around you in a circular motion in either direction and in the speed of your choosing. It also works while you're in movement. Also, you have Profile, which will follow you from side to side. Then you have Spotlight, in which you can control the Mavic, but it will stay focused on the subject as you move it around. Then you have Tap Fly, in which using the image on the phone, you can tap the direction you want the Mavic to fly, and if you tap on the top of the line, you will go up as you reach your destination, and if you press below that, you'll descend. I'm not that great at using this mode, so I don't use it very often. Next up is tripod mode. While in this mode, your movements are extremely slow. This is a great mode to get steady shots, as well as for beginners who are worried about too much movement, and possibly for indoor flight, although I do not recommend by any means you fly the Mavic indoors. Up next is terrain follow. This mode is pretty cool. Once in this mode, you can have the Mavic follow behind you on a hill without having to worry about adjusting the altitude while going up. Next up we have point of interest. In this mode you have to fly above the subject that you want filmed. And set that location as the point of interest. Once you're at the appropriate height, you move far back enough that the radius indicator is blue and at which point you can press start. You can then set the speed and direction on the phone, and you can also raise and lower the altitude as long as you stay within the requirements. Next up is the waypoints mode, in which you can fly to specific locations and heights and record that position, then move to the next spot and record that position as well, until you have the shots that you want. Once you're ready, you can set it off and it'll go along the path you set for it. And once it reaches the end, it'll just wait for you in a hovering position where the waypoint mission ended. Next up is home lock. Once in this mode, you can fly in any direction you want, but pulling down on the right stick will always bring you in the direction of your last recorded home point, which is great if you want to return home and remain in control without going into some automatic mode. Then you have course lock which comes in very handy for beginners as well as cinematographers, since this mode will lock the front direction of the drone no matter which way is facing. Some of you will recognize this as headless mode. I wanted to check the accuracy of the return home feature, so I made some markings on the ground below the Mavic, and then I flew it pretty far away before starting the RTH mode.
at which point it starts ascending to the appropriate height and then starts turning back. It was pretty close. It wasn't perfect, but I can't be mad at results like that. And finally I wanted to leave you guys with some 4K footage that I got at the park so you can appreciate the camera on the Mavic. Well guys, that's it. Also, if you're still here, I'm doing a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll announce a winner and directly contact him or her. All you need to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I'll put all the rules in the description. Hope to see you guys next time.